Hello students. In this video and the next one, we'll look at um, one more application of trigonometry and that is bearings. So let's go back about 200 years when um, people were traveling around the oceans only in sailboats. Well, they knew about compasses back in those days. So they knew about north, south, east, and west and halfway between north and east is northeast for example and they basically use these what are called cardinal points uh, in order to work out what direction they were traveling now it turns out eight cardinal points isn't enough because what if you're traveling say in this direction here you need some way of naming that so what they actually did is they came up with 32 different directions so halfway between north and northeast they called that north northeast Halfway between north and northwest, they called that north northwest. And then if you were traveling halfway between those two, they called that one north by west. And in here, northwest by north, etc. So in the olden days, that was sufficiently accurate. You couldn't sail a boat any more accurately than that. So they really didn't need a name or a number for, say, that angle just in there. Modern days, of course, we, we do need to have much more accuracy. And it turns out we have two different ways of naming directions or naming bearings. So the one that's most commonly used, so we'll do it first, is called true bearings. So true bearings start at the north. So if you're traveling in the northerly direction, you say that's zero degrees or 360 degrees. And just to make it uh, easier to transmit say over a phone or over a radio I should say um, your direction you always name each true bearing using three digits so rather than saying zero degrees you say zero 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 degrees rather than saying I'm traveling in a, a bearing of 60 degrees you go zero six zero I think the main reason for that is if you're transmitting a bearing and there's a bit of static and a bit of crackle if the person only hears two digits, they know that they've missed one. They can say, please repeat that bearing, please. So true bearings, you always use three digits. And we tend to say them by naming the digits rather than the number. So we don't say 60 degrees. We say 060 degrees. So bearings start at the north. That's zero degrees. Measured in a clockwise direction. That's 60 degrees. East is 90 degrees. South is 180 west is 270, and then back to zero once again. So let's go ahead and write those in. So north, zero, zero, zero. Okay, what should I write for east? Have a think about it. Remember, it has to be three digits. That's a 90 degree angle in there. So that's zero, nine, zero. That's a straight angle, so 180. And that one there is 360 take 90 or 180 plus 90. That's 270 degrees. Okay, let's play a little game. We're going to play the, the guess the true bearing game. So I'm going to give you an angle or a bearing. I want you to guess what it is and then we can check it. Okay, so in your head, try to guess what angle we have here between north and the pink line. Putting the compass over the top, that looks like it's about 41 degrees or 041. What about one down here? Okay, have a guess at what that angle is. So that's 180. That's 90. So somewhere between 90 and 180. In fact, I don't know what it is. So I'll have a guess. I'm going to guess that's about 160. Well, you, you make a guess as well. Oops, and I'm a little bit too high. That's actually looks like about 152. Let's go over into this section just here. Okay, what do you reckon that angle might be? Well, if that's 270, that's about 25 degrees smaller. I'm going to guess uh, 245. Up closer to 249, so I'm not too far off. And let's do one just up here. In fact, I'll put it just about the center but not quite okay so that's 270 maybe another 40 
No, actually more than 45, so maybe another 50. I'm going to guess about 320. I'm getting better. Okay, that's around about 317. So true bearings, once again, north is zero. You go in a clockwise direction up to 250, uh, sorry, 359 degrees, and you name the bear, bearing by using three digits. For example, um, 317. Okay, the other way to measure um, or to name bearings is what are called compass bearings. And these use a combination of letters and numbers. So here we have a bearing. And we basically first say, is it towards the north or towards the south? And the answer in this case is it's towards the north. So the first thing you write is always N or S. The second thing. Uh, thing you write is how many degrees from the north or from the south the bearing is. In this case, it's 36 degrees. And the last thing you write, well, is it an angle towards the east or towards the west? And in this case, the angle is towards the east. So the compass bearing for that uh, direction is north, 36 degrees east. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. Well, we're looking at that direction. Well, that to start with is towards the south. So we write S from the south. The angle is measured 45 degrees. So again, you're measuring from the north of the south. So south 45 degrees. And again, it's measured towards the east. So the compass bearing for that direction is south 45 degrees east. Okay, go ahead and mentally fill in the bearings for all of these. So north is just north. The true bearing for this one is 0, 0, 0. For no Northeast, that's 45 degrees, so that's 0, 4, 5. Or for the compass bearing, it's north 45 degrees east. This one is just east for the compass bearing, and it's going to be 0, 9, 0. For the true bearing, we have to add another 45 degrees onto that, so that's going to be 1, 3, 5. For the true bearing, and south 45 degrees east for the compass bearing. South has a true bearing of just 180. Southwest, well, we've got to add 45 onto that, which gives us 225. And we need to, for the compass bearing, say that south, the angle from the south is 45 degrees and it's towards the west. The west is the compass bearing and it's 270 for the true bearing. And finally, northwest, add another 45 onto that and we get 315 for the true bearing and measured from the north, 45 degrees towards the west. So there is an example of some true bearings and some compass bearings for the major cardinal points. Okay, let's go ahead and do some guess the guess the compass bearing game. So let me put that one there, put it just there. Work out what you think the compass bearing for that is. Again, it's going to be north angle in the direction of east. And it turns out it is north 65 degrees east for that angle. Okay, let's do two more. Let's try that one just there. Okay, so have a guess. Okay, here on my guess is going to be south, 20 degrees towards the west. Well, there's 10 degrees, 20. I'm not too far off. That's about south, 22 degrees west. And let's do one last one. Okay, so for that one, it's north angle towards the west. Have a guess. 
my guess is going to be about 70, 70 degrees. So north, 70 degrees west. Oh, that's pretty good because there's uh, 20 degrees up. So that's basically north, 69 degrees or 68 degrees west. So that was a pretty good guess on my part. Okay, to finish off, uh, stop the video, work out the um, compass bearing on top, the true bearing on the bottom for each of those diagrams, please. Okay, let's see how you went. Okay, so for the first one, the compass bearing is going to be south, 58 degrees east. So from the south, we're going in a direction 58 degrees towards the east. Now to work out the true bearing, we need to work out what this angle is. And that's going to be, of course, 180, take away 58, which is going to be 100. If I take away 60, I get 120. So I reckon that's going to be 122. So the true bearing is 122. Okay, what about down here? Well, from the north, we need to know what this angle is. And therefore, we've got to take 13 away from 90. And that's going to give me north. 90 take 10 is 80. Take away another 3 is 77. So north 77 degrees west is the compass bearing. And for the true bearing, it's the distance all the way around measured from the north. So that's 270 plus 10 is 280 plus 3 is a bearing of... 283. Okay, so there's uh, an introduction to bearings. In the next video, we'll then show you how we can use bearings and trigonometry to answer some questions.